If ever there was a playable that fell from grace and fell hard, it's the Pachycephalosaurus. Once the absolute bane of Spiro, a few unfortunate changes were made that essentially removed their ability to stun. Patchy is one of the only dinosaurs in Avrima now, whose main attack causes it to stop entirely in place for a moment, whether it hits or misses. Which wouldn't be a big deal if its stun wasn't, if, un if I understood correctly based on Poutine's live discussion with the developer Felipe, currently broken. As is, the Patchy can still be a menace, but certainly isn't the absolute destructive monster it used to be. For this reason, I actually haven't truly stepped in to attempt to play Patchy outside of being nested once, which didn't end well, in about 10 months. The last playable that I'd neglected that long was Dilo, so I decided there's no time like the present to give the Bonkaroo a chance again. In order to give myself the best possible shot at not being simply destroyed by my own species, I decided to run my patchy life on petite. I expected to die a lot. Most every patchy I've seen recently on officials, I've later found dead within 10 minutes of spotting it. So I didn't honestly have the highest expectations for my survival. Thankfully, I managed to find a couple others and together we wandered the map for quite some time. The plan was to attempt to nest, but unfortunately nesting decided to simply say no, so we fell back on what Patchy does best. Aggressively bonking carnivores. Alone Serato had been stalking through Delta for a while, and as we hadn't seen really any action for several hours, we decided to pick a fight. exactly the cleanest attack, but hey, we got a leg fracture on it. Truthfully, that was all I wanted to do. Fracture the Serato, and then let it hobble away. Threat neutralized. That was, of course, when the Tenos arrived. Poor Serato. With that situation resolved, we healed off our illness and started to get our health back on track. Of course, as I was drinking, I heard a commotion break out behind me. One of the Tenos had waited until Nobu was getting a drink and then kicked him into the river, ultimately killing him. He'd had one of the special myth skins that you can spawn in with on Petite if you're incredibly lucky. So apparently that meant he was a target for no apparent reason. Naturally, this meant that this particular Tenno was a threat to our safety. If he was willing to attack and kill one of us for no reason, he was likely to come for us too. And he did. I am more than a little rusty on Patchy, but this Tenno had attacked first, and I wasn't going to let that stand without at least giving him a few broken ribs.
As he rested below the rock that my remaining companion was feeling on, I finally managed to get a fracture on him. It wasn't the leg break I hoped for, but hey. Of course, the rest of the Tenos came to his aid in that moment. Little did they know who the real bad guy was in this situation, but it is what it is. The moment they wandered off, I returned and attempted a second time to fracture his leg. My dang perfect hit registered as a body fracture again, to my great disappointment. Well, at least now he looked funny, so we could point and laugh at his broken back. When he put himself into a corner, though, I was satisfied with the work we'd done. We may not have avenged Nobu, but at the very least, we'd taught his killer a lesson. Not much else happened after that. Janice and I moved toward West Rail in hopes of finding more patches and perhaps the opportunity for a few more fights and I had to log out for the day. When I returned, the diet patch had dropped and I was alone. No problem. Life goes on after all. I headed to the pond for a drink after the force vomit to reset my diets and food. You know that feeling in the pit of your stomach? That little bit of intuition that says, hey, uh, there's something not right here. Well, it hit me as I drank. And I ignored it. Do not ask why I jumped into the pond. I don't have an answer for that. Anyway, once the crashing issues with the diet change drop resolved, I finally respawned. I don't know about you, but I don't think I've given Patchy enough of a shot to prove itself yet. I hadn't even really had the opportunity to remember how to play it properly in a fight, after all. My visit to Sanctuary was mostly peaceful. Until the local Trudon decided I looked like a meme. It took me a long moment to remember my controls, but once I did, the Trudon got his skull caved in. And so did the local fresh spawn Karno who got too close while I was still in sledgehammer simulator mode. Moments later, Farmer arrived. See, I wasn't really feeling like attempting to play Patchy solo. You and I both probably know why that's not a good idea. I waited outside the sanctuary while Farmer began his own growth. I'd gotten too big and the bees had grown tired of me eating all the mushrooms. So I placed myself strategically up a cycad where I hoped I wouldn't be spotted by the raptors stalking the edges of the sanctuary, searching for juveniles that had been banished so they could get an easy meal. It appeared to work. One crept right past me, not bothering to look up far enough to see the purple blob perched in the fronds. Growth on Patchy is one of the easier experiences in Avrima. They don't take long, and before we knew it, we were adults. We had moved to Delta, and as a result of your average adult responsibilities, I was solo for a short time. As I waited for Farmer to return, I spotted a raptor running by. It wasn't quite dark yet. I had a feeling he'd be back as soon as the sun set fully. I was right. 
The moon gave me plenty of light to see, but now that it was dark, the raptor returned as expected. He laid down to lure me off the rock, but miscalculated how quickly I could reach him. No leg fracture. Oh well. So anyway, I learned very quickly that when Raptor's broken pounce meets Patchy's apparently broken bonk, very strange shenanigans occur. I have rewatched this fight numerous times, and I still cannot for the life of me figure out what on earth happened. But I lived, so yay? Soon enough, Farmer rejoined me and we ultimately decided to make our way toward Highlands. We hadn't seen much around. The recent changes have really helped with overall population spread, which means there's not really any significant hotspots on the map anymore. But the heat map for the server said there was a bit of carnivore presence in that direction, and we were searching for action. Not 2v2 Serato action, though. No, thank you. By the time we arrived in Highlands, got water, and headed for food, it was day again. Thankfully, considering Patchy's incredibly poor night vision. We spotted a hiding stego player in some bushes and stopped momentarily. But apparently he decided we were ugly or something, I guess, and he very quickly attempted to stab us. Rude. As soon as our patrol reset to the Highlands area, we filled up our stomachs. I wanted to try some stealth patchy leg break and run ambushes. But then the Serato appeared. Oh boy. It's all fun and games until there's two of them though. With one suffering from at least one fracture, we opted to trot our little domes right de back down to the safe water. The Serratos tracked us for a few minutes, but we got to the water safely, drank, and then decided to roll in the mud for good measure. We couldn't be sure, but we thought they might have been the same Serratos that had found us in the Delta. Taking a different route to return to our patrol, not fully convinced the Serratos hadn't continued tracking us down to the lake, we began refilling our stomachs. Of course, as we were eating, the Serratos found us again. And again, tell me why on earth my stomach started filling with bile, even though that Serrato didn't get anywhere near me. Oh, the bugs on Patchy. My oh my, and I thought Dilo had problems. Okay, now. Now it was time to test out Stealth Bonker Patchy. We had moved south and spotted a Carno. Man, I haven't properly fought a Carno on Patchy since Spiro. And even with Carno being nerfed, I was itching to give it a go once more. I missed. The Carno ran and we ran after him. Yep, it has happened. Hyper aggressive patchy player neurons have activated. Now, I don't know if he could have simply kept running and ultimately escaped. My guess, based on personal experience, is yes. Even if we all three ran out of stamina, Carno has a faster trot speed than patchy. So, we would have lost him eventually. 
But I suppose when someone so clearly wants the fight, he kindly decided to give it to us. He played cautiously at first, keeping just out of reach, assessing the situation and playing with us a bit. Finally, the first charge came, and I was more prepared than I think he expected. It didn't stop him, it didn't break him, but he made a pain noise, so it felt like a small victory. I was less prepared for his second charge, but it barely grazed my health. This game of cat and mouse was getting interesting. Sooner or later, someone was going to make a mistake. The Carno landed two charges on Farmer. He was gaining confidence. His next charge was a mistake. I parried it, breaking his back. My next attack resulted in a trade. A nibble for his leg. We very nearly fell victim to the age-old response. The leg break, face tank. Farmer took a few bites, and I decided to back off so we could regroup and slow down. A leg broken Carno can still be dangerous, but only if it can hit you. A broken Carno can't alt attack, so continually targeting it from behind means bonk hard and prosper. The Carno placed his head into the nearest tree, but I think he and I both knew he was done. The game had come to an end. After healing up and taking care of our nutrition again, we trotted back down to the lower falls. We weren't super thirsty, but as there didn't seem to be anyone else around, we just focused on keeping our food and water full for the time being. I crossed the falls first. Farmer followed behind at a trot. Oh, a Dino. Farmer slipped out of its grasp when it smashed its face into the rock, and the silly thing came trudging up onto land. Land Dino. That's a Land Dino. My nemesis. I waited for it to get far enough out of the water before I started messing with it. One nibble was enough. I wasn't going to risk more than that. Not with such a small bite force on something designed for bonking. The next time we logged in, we spent a bit of time around south before moving to the tiny hidden pond beside the southern beach. There, a smallish carnal was hanging out. I was going to ignore it. I needed food and my patrol was nearby. But he kept threaten calling at us and darting around. See, you'd think by now, with as many hours in the game as I have, that I'd smell a trap from a mile away. But truthfully, 
I was just confused as to what on earth he was doing. Every time we started to simply walk away, he'd come running after us. And then everything became dramatically clear all at once. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts below. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I hope to see you again soon.